And good morning, everyone. My name is Billy Lee. I'm the membership sales and retention lead for Glasgow Sports. I'm gonna give you a tour of the building now, and we'll start at the entrance. And here we go. As we enter, you will be greeted by our fine reception team and crew. We'll be the first people that greet you as you, as you enter into the building. Okay. And we're going to start on, on just shy of the, of the, of the entrance. For the first thing I'll show you is the changing room for the swimming pool for females. So this is, a, this is a swimming pool changing room for the sauna and the steam room. The next thing we'll, we'll step through here and I will show you the pool. The swimming pool here is 25 meters in length. It is one meter deep at the shallow end. It is 3.5 meters deep at the deepest end, which is to say it's not a dive pool. Also in this area is the sauna and the steam room and then a set of showers to, to enter in. The pool can be configured to six lanes. Right now it looks as if it's, it's configured to five, okay? The, as, I, as I understand it, the water temperature is probably about 29 degrees. The ambient air temperature in this space is 30 degrees centigrade. Okay, we'll continue through this way. And we'll enter through here. And as we enter through here, I'll show you where the changing room is for males. The, the, Swimming pool, changing, and sauna, steam room for males. The next area, what we'll go upstairs. And here we're going to see three studios and pulse. Pulse is where our cardiovascular and some light weights are held. I'll come to this door here. We are now on level four. There are three studios on level four. I'll take you first to studio number one. Studio one is actually a secured studio. So primar it's primarily used by team sports and clubs, and it is secured. However, there is a class that takes place here, which is learn to lift. So for those who may be gym intimidated and, and want to learn how to lift, this is where this class is held. This is Studio One. The next studio that we'll go to is Studio Two. It is a smaller of the three studios. We'll enter into it. And what you'll see here, it is a smaller studio. You can see that they're yoga mats. So this is where some of our yoga classes are held. There are, there are even yoga blocks available at the present time. Um, also, the fencing club uses this space. So some of the clubs use it, but this is primarily used as a space for yoga classes. What I don't want to neglect to point out is the women's change room. That was directly across from studio number one. So that's the women's change and shower room. There are also lockers available here and also here. So this is one of the entrances to the, the, the women's changing room. This is the, one of the entrances to the male changing room. There are, there are smaller lockers available that one could use and if you have your own padlock, or we, we, use, we hire locks and we also sell locks here. So you could secure your equipment here or your clothing here. Okay, we'll take a right turn and now we'll go into Studio 3. Studio 3 is one of our larger studios. And you can come into Studio 3. There's a few things I'll point out in Studio 3. 
One of them is that there are three heavy bags in Studio 3, and if you look up at the ceiling, you can see that it's configured for TRX straps. There are approximately 20 TRX strap fittings on the ceilings here. There's a sliding door that's actually closed right now that, hold, that contains kettlebells. So there are kettlebell classes as well as yoga classes and other uh, small group classes held in this space. High intensity uh, interval training, yoga, uh, Pilates, things of that nature. Now we'll get to the big stuff. Okay, this is Pulse. Pulse is a cardio and resistance gym. Okay, just come right through here. In Pulse, there are 130 pieces of equipment. As we enter into Pulse, I can tell you that there are 34 treadmills, as you can see lining the walls. Um, there's, a, there's a stretching area to your immediate right as you come through. You'll see three, four posts of dumbbells that vary in range from one kilogram to 10 kilograms. Okay. There are, we, we, have, we have cross trainers and also um, elliptical machines. There are 14 ellipticals and there are nine cross trainers. Okay, as we proceed further down through here, we'll go all the way through here. There are four upright uh, stationary cycles. There are two of them that are here. There's the third. We have four step mill machines. Here's another one of our upright cycles. As you can see, there are six total of eight matrix lightweight lifting machines. So we have seated row, lat pull, chest press, leg, leg curl, shoulder press, and a leg press. We also have these two stations that are standing. So these are seated. These two are for standing and they're for doing various exercises. They have the lat pull, tricep exercises, and pull-up bars. Spin cycles. On this particular floor, there are three spin cycles, and there are actually four rowing machines. There's one of the rowing machines there. The other three will be to your, or, or to my left, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to those as we pass through. A recent acquisition are two Peloton bikes. Again, another two sets of weights that range from one to 10 kilograms, and we also have weighted balls. Another stretch area. You know, the remainder of the cross trainers and elliptical machines I described earlier. We also have four watt spikes, which are stationed near the door. Ski erg machine, which is also a requid acquisition. And another treadmill.
This is actually called an assault sprint treadmill. So it's, it's generated by your own speed as opposed to the set speed you would get on a traditional treadmill. The next place we're going to go is going to be downstairs. That's going to be power play. That's where the weights are. Okay, we're now on our way down to power play. As we're making, making our way to power play, I will start giving you a bit of information. There are 18 Olympic platforms in this space. There we go. There's 12 racks and six half racks. We'll loop around this way. As you can see, there's configured, again, for TRX straps are here. Again, some light matrix weightlifting machines. There's one heavy bag, and there are six plyo boxes. A pull-up and dip stand, again, racks of weights that go from 1 to 10 kilograms and then now we're getting into some heavier weights so now we have weights that range from 10 to 50 kilograms some, some dumbbells you can see our benches and also our matrix standing weight lifting machine We have a rack of barbells that range from 10 to 30 kilograms. Also, we have one leg press machine. We'll walk down through here. We have a stretching area. Also, we have monkey bars and Bulgarian weight bags. In addition to the monkey bars, as you can see, there's a red rope down there, a battle rope. So there's a station where a person could actually do battle ropes. One of the areas that we passed that I didn't point out to you, but I can, is we have, there, there are a dozen kettlebells in this space. Okay. Now we'll take a walk upstairs. We're on our way up to the activity hall and the sports hall. So you get to get a little extra leg work out in this part of the tour. So we're coming up from power play. We'll go up past Pulse and we'll make our way to the activity and sports halls. And here we are. Okay. Okay. This is the sports hall. So there are 24 spin cycles set up in here. And there are 19 rowing machines. We'll go a little forward. The classes in this space are VR, they're virtual. 
There's also a virtual golf course and driving range, and that's here. The clubs are stored there. Person with the screen can make full use of, I think, Augusta National, St. Andrews, and a driving range are all available virtually. If you look up, you'll see what is a heavy curtain. So I'll show you what's on the other side of that curtain as we cross through here. So as the curtain drops, you see now we can configure this space for table tennis. So you can see the table tennis tables there. And as needed, they can be set up so we get maximum use of the space. Okay. Again, this is the sports hall. And as you can see, actually, if there were nothing on the floor here, this would be a full-on basketball court. You can see the scoreboard, and even, actually there's a fan zone that's up there that we'll, we'll pass when we're going past the, the Revolve Spin Studio. As we come out, okay, now we're making our way to the activity hall. On this floor, there is also a male and female changing room. Okay. And we'll come into the activity hall, which is currently configured for badminton. So you can see it has four badminton stations set up right now where we can play. There's multiple basketball goals. So this is a multi-use space. We'll come through here. There we go. Okay. Prepare your legs for just another flight of stairs. So here we're, we're coming up. So actually, we're leaving level five, we're coming to level six. On level six, did you come through? Okay, if we turn to this, we have the squash courts. There are two squash courts on this level. This is squash court one, okay? We'll come a little further, and to my immediate right, we'll come into the Revolve cycling, indoor cycling studio. There are both virtual reality and instructor talk classes here. You can see it at the front, there's, that's where the instructor would sit. There are 20 spin cycles in this room not counting the instructor's cycle. And as you can tell by the lighting, uh, this could be a pretty exciting place to be during a spin class. Here's where I'll show you squash court number two. Squash court number two. 
From here, you can also, you can see another view of the activity hall. We'll go through here, and I just want to show you the fan zone, which would be the seating area. And this gives us another view of the sports hall. There are bleachers here that actually can't be pulled out at the moment because we're moving bikes, but there's bleachers, a bleacher area here. So when it is a full-on basketball court, one could actually see the basketball game through here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to loop us back, okay, so that we'll come out in a place that will be well familiar to everyone once you've been into the building. So we're coming back past Revolve, past the squash courts. We're going to come to stairwell A. Come through stairwell A. We're making our way down from level six, which had the squash course and revolve. We're going now through level five, which has the activity and sports hall. We're making our way now down to level four. You also notice that they're color coded. So green is the color for level four, which had the studios two and three, and also the entrance to Pulse. Now we're coming down to level three. And level three is where we began. Okay, so we are, so what we covered were level six, level five, level four, level three, and level two, which is where we started with the swimming pool changing rooms. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Stevenson Sports Center. And we look forward to seeing you soon.